Back to note mode now. So through this mode, you can create uh, structured text documents that you can then save by clicking the Save button down here. And uh, before beginning a speech-to-text uh, session, be sure to check the um, language button to ensure that the right language has been selected, as there has to be a match between the language that is selected and the one that you plan on using. Okay? So... Um, to activate speech recognition, you just need to click the microphone button, and uh, let's see some of that. Hello there, comma, how are you, question mark, new paragraph. Right now, comma, I am using Speech2Text Pro to dictate this content, ellipsis. Isn't this wonderful, question mark. Capitalize Speech2Text Pro. Join Speech2Text. New paragraph, an ideal speech-to-text app is not only accurate, comma, but has multiple voice commands for full control over the generation, delete last word, presentation of the content generated, period. New paragraph, hyphenate speech-to-text. Insane accuracy is great, comma, but you need to be able to interact with your text, comma, right, question mark. Select right. Correct. Other desirable speech-to-text attributes include colon, efficiency, period, ease of use, period, ability to create complex documents, period, good documentation, period, Select last sentence, previous three, number list, uppercase, good documentation, round bracket, ease of use, undo, select ease of use, round bracket, Producing documents with your voice is pure joy, period. There is nothing more rewarding than being able to interface with your Windows 11 computer using voice commands, period. Capitalize Windows. New line, thanks for watching, exclamation mark. Select last sentence. Double quote. Okay, so you just heard me use multiple instructions to um, modify the text that came out. And uh, those were examples of uh, commands. You can access commands by clicking the commands button and you're going to see a list under category titles for organization. So there is selection commands, deletion, capitalization, enclosures, separators, miscellaneous, paragraph related, and history commands, okay? There's about 60 of them, and um, there's ways to learn about these commands, okay? So one of the most useful tools is, these, um, is the mini demos, okay? So if you want to learn about a specific command, click the play button that's to the right of the name of the command. However, um, some caution, because uh, once you play this demo, which involves a robotic voice that talks the way that you would talk where you'd use this command, whatever content you have, that is going to disappear, okay? So uh, let's see. Yeah, we can sacrifice this text. So let's, let's, uh, let me play this demo here, okay? Delete everything. The reselect command helps me select adjacent characters, period. Double quote adjacent. Now I would like to remove the double quotes, period. Select adjacent. Reselect. Adjacent. Okay. And uh, by the way, there's another, there's a major play button down here for, that activates uh, a demo. Okay, so let me uh, play part of this. Delete everything. Welcome to this tutorial exclamation mark. New paragraph. It will teach you everything you need to know about how to use the commands being offered by speech to text pro period. Capitalize Speech to Text Pro. Join Speech to Text. 
Commands are reserved words or phrases that when stated in the beginning of a sentence comma they perform some kind of operation on the existing text comma instead of printing literally on the editor comma like all other words period. For example comma capitalize comma. Okay this is a fairly lengthy uh, demo. There's no point in playing the entire demo during this tutorial. You know I'll leave it up to you to play this in your own time. But please be sure to check this tutorial as it's um, very instructional, very uh, educational as far as learning voice commands. So back to voice commands. And in addition to the play button, there is also a question mark button. So if you click this, it will pop into view a brief description on the voice command. As for the, uh, the button to the right of that, the one with the right pointing arrow, this one takes you to the, the keywords, keywords list. So what is a keyword? Well, a keyword is actually a word or phrase that you can assign to a voice command to be able to call that voice command with that word or phrase. And every voice command has one keyword by default, and that's the name of the voice command. So this voice command select has the select keyword by default. That's the name of the voice command select. However, and you can call this command using select. However, you can call it using other phrases if you would prefer to do so. So if you would rather call this command using, let's say, identify, you would just simply add that as a keyword. And you could also call this command using, let's say, highlight. So now, not only can you call this command using select, but also with these two other alternate words. And uh, let's confirm this. Select operation on the existing text. Unselect. Identify operation on the existing text. Unselect. Highlight operation on the existing text. Unselect. Okay. So those were the keywords, okay? And uh, by the way, if you want to change the name of a voice command altogether, then you can simply type the new name in this uh, text field. So if you would rather change this to identify, uh, first you would have to delete the, uh, the keyword if it exists because no dupes are allowed, okay? So delete identify and next type identify here. And doing so is going to add this new name or keyword to this list, okay? And now you can proceed and delete the other ones if you don't want to associate this voice command with those uh, words or phrases, okay? And just have identify. And if you try to delete this one, you wouldn't be able to. Okay. One more thing I would like to mention is that earlier I used um, a couple of voice commands to format the proper noun speech to text pro as it shows, okay? And I could keep, keep doing this every time I wanted to pronounce speech to text pro, but there is a shortcut literally, and that's to um, create a shortcut. So, what a shortcut is, and this is going to be a brief intro into shortcuts because they're going to be explained in a, a future tutorial, uh, they are associations linking a an easy to pronounce phrase with a segment of text that is uh, either difficult to pronounce or else involving several formatting rules making it inconvenient to print every time. So uh, um, let's create a, a shortcut with uh, speech text pro. So in this case I would simply click add shortcut and um, in the shortcut text box I would type something like this app, okay, this is an easy to pronounce phrase, and then type the difficult text, okay, and maybe I could insert a dash to make it even more difficult, okay, so, and then click save shortcut. So now let's, uh, let's see what would happen if I pronounced this app. So here I am, comma, using this app period. Okay, 